All right, guys, so here's another one for you. Um, I've also seen a lot of people, just like with the fuel filter gaskets, say that they put everything together and they just cannot seem to get the oil filters to seal with the gaskets. Now, once again, there are multiple gaskets that come with these filters, depending on where you get them. Um, but, the flat gasket is what you want. And I know people say they're too big or too small, and I have to surmise that it's really just people not understanding how the gaskets are supposed to go in. Because uh, I've never, never had that issue. So, let's start with picking the gaskets out, which uh, you'll need a pick for. I almost made the trash can with that one. And uh, don't worry about all the oil that's still left in there. That's just part of the design of the motor. The oil sits there. And there ain't much you can do about it. You can try to soak it all up with a rag if you want, but you're really just wasting your time. Um, I like to try to get some of the oil out of the gasket uh, groove, but uh, it really doesn't matter. You're not, you're not gonna, you're not gonna have a leak because there was oil still left here. I'll tell you that much. It, it's if you have a leak, it's just because you didn't get something seated right. Um, but I do generally hose down the area before I pull the filters canisters off, just because you get dirt and shit up here, and like dirt daubers make nests, and you get leaves and. You don't want any of that falling in there, right? So you just hose it off with a water hose real good. Use some degreaser if you want to. For some reason they like to collect oil here. I wonder why. Because these things are a huge mess when you change the oil. Anyway, so let me grab a fresh rag since I've got oil all over my hand now. All right. Here's where I think people go wrong. This is not just a flat gasket surface that you set the new O-ring on. It has a lip up under here. And the gasket has to go in that lip. If you just set the gasket on there and put your canister on top of it and force it down in there, you're absolutely going to cut the gasket and have a leak. So, you take your gasket, and usually they'll have a bow in like that, right? I set the 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 high side up. So what you want to do is put your gasket in, start sliding it into the, well, let's show you over here because you can see this one better. Slide it into the groove and kind of just like the fuel filter gasket, work it up into a, where there's a bellied area and then push it down in. And make sure it pops over into that groove. Now the gasket should be sitting flat all the way around. If your gasket's sitting flat all the way around, it will seal, so long as you don't over torque it and cut the gasket. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm not looking at the manual right now, but I think the torque on the oil filters, the bolts, is 70 foot-pounds. That sounds like a lot, and it is, because that's a 7 8 bolt for the, for the oil filter. And you're holding a whole lot of oil pressure there all the time. So of course you want to make sure it's good and tight. And don't worry about getting a little oil on the gasket. It's not going to hurt anything. Just make sure you get it properly seated all the way around. If you just, like I said, if you just set the gasket in there and then you put your canister on top of it and smash the gasket down in there, you, you're, that's why it's going to leak. That's probably why most people experience leaks with these, because that's what they do. But if you make sure that it pops into that groove all the way around, it's not going to leak. I've got a little bit of oil on top of the gasket here. I don't like that. And it's not, it's, once again, it's not going to make it leak. It'll just seep, and it'll look like a small leak. And uh, I don't like that, especially not going out 
to a customer. So, all right, new filters. Now the goal of this was not to show you how to change the oil and filters, but um, I'm here, so. Remove some of my other crap. Um, I don't know if there's a good place to set you guys now. Not really. No, not really. Because this is going to be in my way. All right. Look at your filter canister all the way around. Make sure there's no burrs, no dents on the ceiling edge. Um, that obviously is bad, you know. The ceiling surface can't be messed up. Um, I like to just take a rag and wipe it down all the way around. Make sure any grit and grime is not left on there, any big stuff anyway. Um, look inside your canister and make sure there's no crap inside. There shouldn't be, but you know, when you take the filter off and then you uh, set it down, it rolls around. You can get some stuff inside sometimes. <clears throat> now, push your filter base down and start screwing the base in or the bolt in. If it's not perfectly straight. You're not going to find the thread. These are such a huge pain in the dick. Horrible design. Okay. I guess once I find the threads. Really? Come on, you fucking turd. I hate these damn things. I love the trucks, but I hate the filter setups that come stock on them. Best thing you can do is convert the spin on. Oh, oh. I think I found it. Almost. Yeah, I did. And it's trying to cross the red, of course. There we go, I found it. All right, so we're going to run it down a bit. Usually when you push the canister down like that, it helps align this, but um, today it just made me look like a fool. That's okay. Damn. What you really don't want is the canister spinning when you're tightening it. That will cut the gasket. Shake it and make sure it's seated. You've got to make sure the canister lip isn't up on top of the lip of the filter base before you tighten it. That's why I shake them a little bit. Sometimes they'll get like that and then they'll pop down when you shake it and turn it a bit. Good old 7 8 wrench. Snug it down. And uh, no, I don't actually torque these things. Um, if you do, that's great, but what I did just there is more than good enough. <sighs> Sit right, filter. Uh, now, I wasn't going to show you all of this because it's just kind of tedious screwing around. But uh, I'm already recording, so I might as well. Now, that one went right in. What a butthead. Alright. And before you ask, I had already cleaned the rim of that one when I took it off, so that's why I didn't do it again.
Okay. Now, of course, I got oil on everything when I took the filters off because they just pour everywhere. So, with a generous helping of brake parts cleaner, we'll go around all over this and all over the injection pump. I, uh, I may have mentioned before, I do buy brake cleaning hose by the case. There's no point in buying one or two cans at a time when you work on a deuce and a half. It's just, you're wasting your trip to town or to the parts store. Buy it by the case. I had a huge mess down here because I didn't have the pan in exactly the right spot. But it happens. Every time. Side of the block. And the front axle. Let's just Go ahead and make sure we get all that oil all over the bottom of the drain pan too. That's that's where, where we want it. For the axle, spring pack. Yeah, I don't um I don't like to leave oil all over everything like some mechanics do. I don't know. The thought is well it's just a car, it's just a truck, it's always gonna have oil on the bottom, but man, it shouldn't be because of you. Let me roll around the other side and make sure there's none back here that I missed. And of course there is. So, with the back of the axle. Tie rod. I know I didn't get on the tie rod from this, but probably from when I changed the oil. More of the injection pump. Out of the frame. Oh, well, yeah, we're out of brake pump. All right, that's a whole can used on cleanup. I think that's probably good enough. Oh, shit. It is really fucking hot out here. <sighs> All right, hopefully that helps you not have leaks on your truck. That and the fuel filter video, um, I can't think of any other w better way to show you or put it. So um, good luck on your next service and uh, let me know how it works out for you. Later.